Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Retose, season 3, episode number 4, reaction. Right, the previous episode, um, we got to see what Tatsuya's plan actually was. His plan was basically to uh, do something which will be like helping out the society. And that is how, you know, they're, they're going to prove to the reporters that, oh, we're not really like colluding with the military. We're doing all of these and, you know, we're, we're doing all of these for the society, for the betterment of humanity and all that stuff. So that was the plan. And they decided to do like a project. And that was a pretty difficult project, but they had like, you know, the preparations and everything. They did it perfectly. And the reporters were flabbergasted. They were like, they, they thought they were going to get some kind of a scoop, but they got nothing. Out of it they did try but you know they weren't able to do anything also we did also get to know a little bit more about shippo shippo and his situation and you know how he hates the saigusas uh and while his dad is like pretty casual about it so he hates it even more um so you know like stuff like that like have their own like you know like familial discord that is going on um between the two families like shippo and the saigusas while um you know all of that all like you know after all of that we also got to see like Tatsuya celebrating his birthday with Miyuki and in the end we get to see a little bit of Aunt Maya where she says that it was a good idea that he she gave Tatsuya another chance to prove to her uh that she he he is like you know is going to do something there in the school and now he has proven it because the report that the whole uh like you know like the thing that the project that they did has become quite popular and people are all a lot of people have been looking at it and he has he has gotten a lot of praise for it uh by the public so yeah and that is what happened so let's see what happens today in this episode episode number four let's begin i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's begin right here's the countdown three two one go What the? What's happening? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh no, this is RPGs. What the hell? Right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Okay.
Mm. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's like. <laughs> Good God. Right. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah, it was a team effort. It wasn't just them, you know. Oh, God. Yeah, he's just twisting the whole... Oh, great. Oh, boy. Hey, yo, what the hell? You're the one who picked it. Oh, boy. Oh, this is disciplinary committee. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, like, Tatsuya's. Hmm. <laughs> His sister is here. Oh no, this is um okay. I didn't. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. Someone in a neutral party. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't really do anything, like, unlike Shippo who tried to. Damn. So just fight against each other. Exactly. A an official battle. <laughs> it happened with him as well. <laughs> Yeah. Request. Bolt. Yeah. Ah, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, so he's like, if one is missing, then it won't be a full-fledged battle. All right. Hmm. No contact rules. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I see. Sure, good God, this guy is so cocky. Okay, he... Okay... Oh! 
Oh. Oh, damn. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Ooh. That thing. Oh, rush of nitrogen. Nitrogen stock. Damn, that is crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Multiplative cost. Yeah, that's what uh, the shippo said. That's why he wanted to fight them together. <laughs> oh. Damn. Okay. Oh. Right. I guess it's pages. That's why it's literally burning off. Bro, okay, this is pretty evenly matched. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> both disqualified because I guess they went overboard. Yeah. Hmm. No, but you're using flame. Like, does nitrogen? Okay. Oh. Hmm. It's an igniter. Wow. Yeah, exactly, because you weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, it makes sense. No, you have to control it. You didn't listen to him? Okay, are you... He said that you weren't able to control it. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's not saying that... <clears throat> okay, here we go. You're going in that direction again. Oh! Wait, who's that? Oh, this is... Damn. Hmm. Okay, we'll see him in action now. All right. It's starting with millionaires, okay. 
Okay. Right. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay, interesting. I, did, I didn't expect that. Contact type. Okay. Yeah, I guess because. Damn, if you can use gram demolition, then. Oh. Ugh. Damn. Well, your defense is quite low, Shippo. Just got beat one time, I guess. Uh, Um, you it's not gonna work oh he's planning something else okay right oh bruh and you're getting a punch up ah well wow that was too one-sided extremely one-sided <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. well, did, does he want to fight him or something? Yeah, I was, I was wondering because you know, since Tatsuya can also and that because he defeated Shippo now, it, yeah. No, exactly, because, you know, he underestimates him and he doesn't understand. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, he's pissed. She's pissed at him. Um, uh, Sh Shippo, yeah. Because Shippo, like, insulted him a few moments ago. All right. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's like, what am I watching? Damn. Stepping a stone to neck with a new exertion spell. Damn. Okay. Yeah, because he's range zero, you know. Oh! Whoa! What was that? He just interrupted his action. Wait, so... Ah... Hmm. Okay, he... Hmm. 
<laughs> right. Oh, oh. Well, obviously, his pride took a hit. Coincidence. <laughs> well, depends. That one year is very, yeah, and that. Mm. Yeah, that's true, you know, like obviously. Yeah, she is correct, like, you know, like, obviously talent plays a role in it, but at the same time, this overwhelming, <laughs> overwhelming strength. Hmm. All right. Wow. That was That was good. It's been a while we've seen Tatsuya in uh, I guess not. We literally saw in the beginning of this episode Tatsuya's, you know, fighting, but still, you know, in like a proper battle like this. <clears throat> Hmm. Is that it or there's something? Oh, there's still something. Bit too glowing. <clears throat> but he won't unless I'm until Miyuki. There's a match well with the ball. Damn. She, he won't betray Miyuki. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So as long as they can keep Miyuki with them. Possibility that she's tossed herself with. Interesting.
Hmm. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so they're planning. Okay, that's it. They're, as they said, so they're planning to, you know, like as they said, that Tatsuya is not going to go against Miyuki, and Miyuki has his whole. Her whole responsibility, which she, you know, she's definitely going to keep because of some reason she's not going to, because that's how, how her mother has brought her up. And that is why I guess it makes sense they want her to become the head so that if he, she becomes the head, obviously there'll be more responsibility on her. She'll literally be responsible for the Yotsubas. So that will keep her anchored to the Yotsuba making Tatsuya loyal to the Yosuba as well. So I see what they're doing here, you know. So they can, if they keep Miyuki with them, and that's why they want her to become the head, because the bigger problem here is Tatsuya. Like as uh, Maya says that, if ta like, you know, uh, if Tatsuya goes against us or goes against me, I, even I will lose. So, the problem, the big problem here is Tatsuya. So we need to make sure that Tatsuya doesn't betray the Yotsubas. And to do that, we need to make sure that Miyuki always stays connected and anchored to the Yotsuba. You know, in turn, it will make Tatsuya loyal to the Yotsubas. So, so yeah, in the end, she's like, I have a plan on that regard. So I do wonder what that plan is. Um, because, yeah, like, I think, like, as, the, as she said, if she becomes the head, then she's definitely not going to like obviously she like you know she'll have like a whole new responsibility for the yotsuba if she becomes the head but you know like how are they going to convince her to be the head that's the thing and so i'm guessing maya has some kind of a plan regarding that let's wait on this see all right um so today's episode was basically um like focused on shippo and Sa uh, and uh, the two sisters like the saigusa sisters um so I guess today's episode we can see how like you know like Shippo was obviously um a little bit you could say like like here's the thing he obviously he he thought like you know he he had like a good good confidence in himself and that is why he was like oh I can you know like I want to fight the two Saigusa sisters not only that the fact that he had no clue about his upperclassmen's abilities and how strong they are made, her a little, it made him a little bit cockier and kind of made him, I don't know, like not understand like how, like how much of a difference in abilities there is between him and the upperclassmen, especially Tatsuya. So because of that, it, it made his confidence into overconfidence. And he was always like, oh, like, no, like, you know, like acting like this, like in a pretentious manner. So today's episode, I feel like after we saw what happened and after Shippo saw how, how much of a big gap there is between his power and his upperclassman's power. And uh, he, he realized that, yeah, like we are nowhere near, like the, you know, we, the underclassmen are nowhere near them. So I feel like this will make him a little bit more humble, you know, in the upcoming episodes. And, you know, the whole battle with the Saigus has also happened. So I guess that will also cool him down a little bit more. You know, he'll be a lot more accepting of uh, Kasumi, I guess. Um, and, you know, I don't know. Yeah, so I feel like Shippo's situation is, like, resolved. Like, you know, I, I don't know. I thought, like, this is going to, like delve into a deeper bigger problem because like i said like you know characters like shippo in a lot of the shows that i've seen they usually like go too far to back down and their like arrogance their pride becomes the reason for, for their own downfall but today's episode i i think this will be it for shippo like he won't really walk the same path as a lot of other characters i've seen walking which takes them towards their downfall so, you know, seeing Tatsuya fight in the end and seeing the difference between his power, I feel like this is going to make him a lot more understandable and he'll, he'll be a lot more humbler, especially realizing that how his power is nowhere near. 
Um, so yeah, I think I think I yeah, like Chipo will be fine from here onwards. Like he, I'm sure he'll keep his like grumpy personality. Like he'll probably always bicker with the Saigusas and all that. That will probably still stay the same, stay the same. But he he won't go too far with the whole thing. I don't know, or maybe not. We'll see. You know. Um, but yeah, like that was the first thing that happened in today's episode, the battle between Chippo and the Saigusas. And then we had the battle between Tomitsuka, I think that's his name, uh, Range Zero, and Tatsuya today. So they did that obviously to show Shippo like how varied their powers. And I'm pretty sure there was another reason why um, Range Zero wanted to fight Tatsuya is because I guess, you know, like he wanted to put himself against Tatsuya and see how how strong he is and how much he can go against him because you know both of them used ground demolition so i feel like uh, you know like he probably wanted to go against tatsuya um you know some some day so today was like the best opportunity to do that so he was like all right let's do it um something like that now okay so first of all let me talk about the battle between um um Shippo and uh, the Saigusas. So here we get to know that Saigusa, both the sisters, are together. They fight together, and I think Tatsuya used like a certain term for it, like something like, oh god, wait a minute. What what was the term that he used, which meant like you know like both of them become like you know like form like pieces of the same puzzle, and you know like both of them unlock their own potential by working together with each other. Like, okay, I cannot find that part, but Tasha uses a particular term for that. Just a minute. Let me see. Okay, I cannot find it. Right, anyways, I cannot find it now, but you know, uh, Tasha uses a particular term. Oh, wait, 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 here, I think. Um, multiplicative cast. Okay, all right, that's an easy thing to remember, multiplicative cast. So, yeah, like, both of them together make the, 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 the whole thing complete, that kind of thing. That is why uh, Shippo said that, I know both of you have to be together to fight, otherwise you won't be able to show your true potential. And Shippo wanted to fight them against their full, you know. So, yeah. Now, the battle between them, Turns out, you know, like, um, Shippo uses a million edge, which is like, I think like those book pages, they like, you know, kind of go and like attack. Now, here we can see the Saigusas, both of them uses nitrogen, what was it called? Nitrogen... Wait a minute. Nitrogen storm. Okay, so so they decrease the amount of oxygen and increase the amount of nitrogen in the whole thing, and I guess that's what they said. Like it's not really lethal because you know nitrogen, um, it it probably is just going to knock you out. Like nitrogen isn't really lethal in that sense. Like yeah, obviously if it's like I guess if it's like becomes extreme, like the concentration becomes too much, then everything is lethal. Like everything in too much quantities is lethal. So that, but you know, like I, I'm sure, like they wouldn't have done that, but you know, they, uh, they probably would have kept it to like a, like a certain degree. So it wouldn't have been lethal. However, Million Edge was lethal at that point, especially when, um, he used it against them, and they used Heat Storm. I'm guessing they used Heat Storm to probably burn the, yeah, the Million Edge edges so that it cannot get to them. But what Tasya said here is that the way it was ongoing it would have hurt the Saigusas because even though the heat storm was preventing the million edge to come and attack them you know he was using it so much the million edge was so intense that it probably would have broken through that heat storm and once it breaks through then then it's even more dangerous to the Saigusas because it's literally the million edge will be like infused with the flames i'm guessing which will probably come and like get to them and probably make them even more injured than the normal million edge. You know, because it's literally like, you know, like the heat storm is going to amplify the whole power, I guess. So yeah, like 
it it would have been fine if Heatstorm was able to completely prevent the millionaires to come and you know get them. But I guess uh, this is what Tasha said that it probably would have you you probably would have broken through that. At which side uh, you know Shippo kind of gets mad and that's why he was like, oh that means I would have won. And Tasha is like, no, like you wouldn't have won. You literally would have lost control of your power. And that is one of the reasons why I said that don't lose control of your power. If I see anything goes beyond something and becomes and goes to danger territory, I'll stop you guys. But Shippo was constantly, he was like, no, like, no, what, what does that mean? Like, you, sh you should have told me that I couldn't use millionaires. Yet. But that wasn't Tatsuya's point. Tatsuya's point wasn't that you cannot use millionaires. Tatsuya's point was that you cannot use millionaires because you cannot control it. You know, if you're able to control it, then go ahead. You know, but that was the thing. So, yeah, and... Yeah, and that is why, you know, in the end, he got my hands like, oh, like, like, what the hell do you know about this? You're a weed. And as soon as he said that, uh, in comes um, range zero and just punches him. And uh, yeah. And then they have their battle, you know, like range zero and Shippo has their battle. And he just takes care of him like in a matter of a second, like just two shots. That's all he needed. Um... And then we had the battle between uh, him and Tatsuya. Now, I need to understand properly what the... Okay, I'm going to do that when I go to the deeper discussion. You know, when I like discuss the scene by scene in the next part, um, I'll, I'll try to understand what exactly happened. Yeah, a lot of things happened, the whole battle, like, you know, the way it went. I'll, I'll try to understand. Mm. And you know what? Here's the thing. I, like, you know, the, the different techniques, I do remember them, but there's a lot I've actually forgotten. Um, so I feel like that might prevent me from properly understanding everything, but you know, I'll try at least. Um, right, so that battle happened and, you know, like I'm going to talk about it later in the deeper discussion section. But after that battle, the main thing that happened is that Shippo obviously is frustrated that he saw the, the difference between them and the upper classmen, especially Tatsuya. At which, you know, like, Kasumi comes in. Her name is Kasumi, isn't it? Yeah. Um, comes in and she's like, oh, like, this kind of proves that they have worked harder than us. And he, yeah, like, she says a very good, like, you know, statement. She says that, yeah, I'm sure you've worked hard as well. And I'm also sure that talent also plays a big role in this whole thing. But what I think is that the fact that they were able to go above and beyond, you know, that isn't because of talent that is their hard work you know what is that part where she says that okay here we go but the strength that's that left you in shock it probably comes from a different place than talent yeah which i can agree with like yeah talent definitely works out but you know what shocked um shippo here wasn't their talent if it was just their talent then you know it would have been yeah but what shocked him was the level at what they were able to take that talent to. It doesn't matter if you have talent, unless you until you polish it and take it above and beyond. You know, like if you're not doing that, then someone who works hard will easily surpass you. you know, a person is, becomes a genius when they are able to polish and, you know, and make their talent and take it to a place that is further beyond what is imaginable and yeah that is what they have done and that is what shocked him because he also has talent you know so does Kasumi and you know the Saikusa sisters as well but they're new to all of this there's you know so they haven't worked hard enough still but that's fine because you know they're 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 underclassmen you know they've barely started their journey you know so yeah it is their future is from here so you know, if they keep going at it, they can overcome that, that gap. At least by a, at least by a little, you know, amount, even if it's by a little amount. <clears throat> at which, you know, like, Shippo was, like I said, I, I feel like Shippo will be a lot more humbler than before, now that all that, this has happened. So yeah, let's wait and see. And then the final scene with Maya, we saw that, like, I talked about that already. So yeah, that was, that was it, that was today's episode. Now, let me talk about this episode, scene by scene. Okay, the very first scene, we get to see Tatsuya coming and fighting um, 
those uh, guys and uh, you know this person the reporters the kidnapping of the daughter of the head of a tv station that's what happened and Fasso came and saved her and then there was that that big blimp kind of thing which was like people were there ready with the rocket launchers and stuff and that's why even took care of them so <laughs> right and there you go and then we get to see this guy like as I, I, i've forgotten his name again anyways um obviously they were his uh, subordinates and he is saying that okay you know what now i feel like you know like we have to properly Okay, here we go. Mm, Mahesh Bhara, um, looks like we're going, we're going to have to figure out who he really is. So they're going to take, start taking this seriously now. You know, just not, re probably not rely on like random characters. Probably they'll start taking actual steps from here onwards. Let's, let's wait for that, I guess. Either way. Um, then we like start the main story and we get to see everywhere, you know, in reports and everything, people are like praising um, Tatsu and his crew for this whole thing. And, you know, Shippo is pissed, obviously, because, you know, like, he's just like, oh, the Saigis are there, you know, they have, they have taken the credit from this as well. Um, yeah, so he's pissed and he starts the fight. You know, he, he literally like you know starts the quarrel by instigating um kasumi and he's like oh like you know like uh, like you you just you know like you're you you're um like taking credit for yourself and your family now what did he say here wait a minute okay here we go i should have known better that guy was something of celebrity after all no way you would miss that, Saigusa. Do you take after a big sister and seduce him to do it for you? Um, I mean, in terms of look on... Oh my god, yeah. So he's literally like, oh, you're just, you know, like, using other people to take credit for... I guess, you know, like, I guess it kind of, like, I don't know, like, it makes sense why he's acting like this, because he, as we saw in one of the previous episodes... He said something regarding how the Saigusa take the, took the credit for something that they did or something like that. And that's how they became the head. So they, that stuck in his head. So that is why immediately he's like jumped into the conclusion that, oh, they did the same thing here as well. They're literally taking credit, like credit and just joining in the, you know, like the, the whole thing, like something like that. That is why he act, he's acting like that. Obviously. Kasumi is not happy, and they start their battle, like, tries to fight each other, but then, um, you know, the, the disability committee comes in and stops them. And then they're brought in front of Tatsuya and everyone else. So obviously the disability committee and the, um, uh, what was the name? The, the, um, oh god, uh, I forgot, the, the, the magic engineering department, I think, both, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, both of the groups were like, both the, you know, like, no, no, sorry, uh, I forgot the name. The, the, the group that um, she, uh, she is in, uh, not she, uh, uh, Shippo is in. Um, both of them, both of the groups, since they are, they would be biased because, you know, each belong to the other group. They're like, all right, let the student council decide because the student council is more in a neutral position at which um, they decide that Tasia says, like, you know what? Um, if we were to give the punishments normally, then Shippo would have been disqualified, uh, would have been expelled because, you know, he's the one who attempted to attack. So we're not going to do that. But what we're going to do is just let these two fight in an official match, you know, and I think that would be better because, you know, they can like, sort out each other's differences, the, the problem that they have with each other. I think that was a good idea because obviously, like, you know, like a, like actually speak a lot more than words you know that kind of thing so instead of just squabbling amongst each other keeping the bitter um emotions in, within you just just fight just smack each other 
<laughs> you know that you know, I feel like that's that's yeah that's the thing and the fact that this is going to be like an official match that is also like you know is going to be no problem so you know like it, it they're not really going against the rules so that's what Tatsuya suggests and it's funny because this is literally what happened with Tatsuya when he came to the school as well <laughs> um I, the whole thing with Hattori I think that was his name um that happened um where they did like the exhibition match and all that and like Tatsuya thoroughly defeated him in one shot literally um so yeah and that similar thing is happening here so um here is what Shippo says that oh both the sisters are going to fight me because I do know that they are not going to be able to show their true power unless until they're together so you know there you go the battle begins they are in the the, the place and that's what gives them the rules he's like like don't touch each other do not use your weapons like you know your your like you know like weapons to touch each other but you can use magic to use your weapons and you know then you can that is okay in application of magic um so that was the rules also another rule which was don't go overboard if i deem it that your ac actions is going to make put the other party in harm i'll stop this Shippo just doesn't care, obviously, he was just smirking over here. But anyways, the battle begins, and, you know, like, they, they keep, like, doing, like, the, the, the barrier kind of thing, and, you know, like, that, and attacking each other. It goes on for quite a while, and as they say, that it was pretty on the same level at the very beginning. But then starts, things start changing. Kasumi and, uh, I forgot the other girl's name, both of them uh, do their the nitrogen storm thing now okay here we go I'm, now i'm going to read this part here we go the ratio of nitrogen in the air currents is being raised is that the spell that used to ne neutralize one's opponent by inducing a lack of oxygen nitrogen storm hmm. that is right you think such a uh, the level of such a high level spell yeah as expected of psychos as relatives okay they haven't exactly mastered it, but it's still quite a feat. And this is what Tasha said, this is the multiplicative, uh, the rumor multiplicative uh, cast. No wonder they say, the Saigosa twins display their true value when they're together, yeah. And here is where Shippo decides to use millionaires, yeah. And he uses millionaires, they use Heatstorm, and as you can see, the, the the thing, the million edge comes in and the heat storm kind of prevents it from getting in. But as this goes on for a while, Tasia stops it. You know, yeah, he's like end of match and yeah, everything's gone. Shippo's not happy. Shippo's like, what the hell? And Tatsuya's like, I said that if I sensed any danger, I would stop it. And the twins, they say that <clears throat> unlike millionaire nitrogen storm isn't fatal and it doesn't inflict irreparable damage and he says that true with nitrogen storm you can control the forces of spell so it doesn't leave any after effects um but izumi neither of you were in control enough to do so wait is her name izumi am i actually saying the wrong name up until now wait a minute kasumi Wait a minute, which sister is Kasumi and which sister is Izumi? No, I was right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Izumi is the, 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 the disciplinary, the, the twin who's in the disciplinary committee. Yeah. No. No, sorry. Kasumi is, yeah. Like, yeah, I was correct then. Yeah. Kasumi is the one who's in the disciplinary committee. And Izumi is the one who is, who, who likes Miyuki, you know, that, that girl. Um, okay. Okay, right. Oh boy, I feel like I'm going to again make, like, mix this up. Isumi and Kasumi. Kasumi, 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 okay, Kasumi. Okay, okay. Um, right. So, Shippo's pissed. Shippo's like, the Saigus has magic failed to stop Million Edge. And he's like, are you saying that you won? And he's like, yeah. Before an Atrogen Storm broke through my air tile shield, I'm sure my attack would have hit Saigus as. So he's like, yeah, like before that is able to make me like, like incapacitate me, I would have been able to break through and I would have defeated them. At which, um, 
that's what it says. In other words, if I hadn't interfered, those millions of ignited paper fragments would have gone through the twist. That, that's why I said, you know, like if, like the, since Millen Age was being like imbued with flames, it probably would have done a lot more damage than it usually would, you know, and the flames were keeping it at bay. But what that says is like, since you're, you couldn't control it, you know, it would have lost control sooner or later. And it would have just, you know, like gone through the whole thing and injured them, like probably a lot. But, you know, like, but he's just not accepting it. And he's like, but in that case, Shippo, you have lost this match on a foul. Uh, what would have happened if you have inflicted millionaires on them with full force? Don't tell me you didn't know. And he's like, uh, then uh, you said that I'm going to lose if I use millionaires. You could have said that before. And that says like, no, I'm not saying you cannot use it. I'm saying you cannot control it. If you can control it, then it's all fine and good. But you cannot. That is why you would have, you know, injured them. And that would have been a foul. But he's like keeping like he's like no like you know like uh, this and that just bickering around and you know in the end he just he's like he's like uh, I don't want to be told that from a weed like you and I was thinking that Muke is probably going to smack him or do something I don't know like probably freeze him but before anything like that happens yeah range zero comes in and just beats him up gives him a punch and he's like how dare you you know like like. Like, you have no clue what the hell you're talking about, you know. Like, you think yes, you're, you're too tough, aren't you? Okay, fight me. Uh, I'm going to show you. So, they start the battle. Now, this time, a new rule has been put, which is he can use million edge. And, you know, like, he can go out. All out. So, there you go. And Shippo's happy. Shippo's like, yeah, I can use million edge. So, they begin their battle. And here is where we get to see... Um... Yeah, he uses Gram Demolition. Someone besides at this school, then Tatsuya can use Gram Demolition. But his is a contact type. It's like, you know, like a shield kind of thing. Okay, you know what? And one thing I need to check. Like, what is like the... What is like the, the Gram Demolition? Like, I, I knew about it, but I've forgotten completely what it does. Let me just read it a little bit in the wiki page. Gram Demolition is a heavyweight counter magic that uses compressed cyan particles to forcibly blow away the accompanying activation sequence and magic sequence. Okay, anything that has trace of cyan recorded in it, the compressed cyan themselves travel through the physical realm as opposed to the information dimension. So it's called magic, it's simply a can cannonball of science that has neither structure nor magic ritual to modify an event. So it is not affected by zone interference. Okay. Uh, the pressure of cannonball also repels the after effects of gas jamming. It has no physical effects and cannot be hindered by any obstacle. Besides the short effective range, which is side effect of science traveling through physical space, gram demolition has a no true weaknesses. However, because gram demolition is a compressed ball of science within the physical realm, an excessive science count is needed to activate it and very few people can use it. Um, okay. Right, so basically, gram demolition is something that can, it's like a, it can just nullify, uh, yeah, that uses compressed science to forcibly blow away all accompanying activation sequence and magic sequence. So that's what it does. Okay. Right, so that happened. So he, he literally, like, he nullified the whole million edge. And then Shippo's like, oh, this is not going to work. He tries to go and attack him from a different place, but Range Zero just comes in and just punches him in the stomach. He still gets up, tries to use Million Edge. It doesn't work again, but then he tries to, I don't know what he tried to do here. He tried to like envelop him in the Million Edge, but then again, he again used Gram Demolition, I'm guessing. Just blew everything away. Um, right. And then he comes and just punches him. And there you go. It's over. He's like, all right, Shippo, it's over. Go and sit down. And now he's like, Tatsya, can I fight you? Because, you know, and at first Tatsya's like, okay, no, like, why? Like, you know, like, I don't see any reason behind this. And in the end, you know, like, they, they kind of convince him. And Miyuki's also like, you know, you can treat this as like a way of showing your juniors, you know, like something like that. And you can see Miyuki is pissed and he, he wants like, you know, Shippo to know. And not underestimate Tasya from here onwards. And yeah, this is probably going to do that. 
if he actually sees Sasuya's capabilities. So the battle begins. Okay, now I need to pay it, like, you know, like, like properly understand this part because the battle is very, like, you know, obviously it's very interesting. Like, a lot of things happen. All right, here we go. So the battle begins. Um, uh, Range Zero comes forward. Tatsu goes backward. Tatsu uh, uses Miss Dispersion. Okay, gets neutralized. Tomiska's body is covered with a thick cyan armor. Okay, um, so he, after that, he's still using Miss Dispersion, I'm guessing. Right. <laughs> she was just. Okay, so. Did he just use Interrupted Phenomenon rewriting spell? As a stepping stone to activate a new acceleration spell. Okay, I don't understand this part. He used a interrupted phenomenon rewriting spell. Interrupted phenomenon. As a stepping stone to activate a new acceleration spell. Is that even possible? Okay, anyways. Um, so, yeah. Who knew that we had a classmate with combat skills on par with Tasha? Yeah, he is pretty athletic as, as you can see. Like, you know, physically, he's, I guess it makes sense since he's like, you know, he needs to be at close range to fight. You need to be like, you know, like, I don't know, like you need to have some techniques to fight. And so close range, he can fight like on par with Tasha. Okay, so the battle continues. I like the like the first person view that they gave here like you know he's fighting each other with the first person view and he's like oh i cannot defeat him i already know but i didn't think it would be this bad and then he takes a range again yeah and he shoots forward towards tasia tries to kick him okay so tasia tries to counter like this but he stops midway Changes his whole thing and smacks him with the hand, trying to destroy his eardrums, which obviously is going to make him, you know, like wobbly, and that would probably be advantageous a lot. So, Tatsuya goes back. Okay, and he gets up. So he let him get himself get blasted. I cannot believe he meets withstood Tomitsuka's self marionette not bad Shiba Tomitsuka's pretty ruthless huh guy was going after Shiba's eardrum there you go okay so then Tasia starts you know okay the battle goes towards the final part he Tomitsuka shoots forward Tasia shoots, destroys the, okay, okay, wait, 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 so here what he does, so, he shoots and he breaks the, the, the Scion armor, I think, and then after that he uses his own attack to blast him away, is that what he did, because they don't really explain this part, you know, because, Tatsuya just does that and that's it. And everyone's like, oh, winner Shiba. And yeah, you know, like they, they get up and Tomiska's like, oh, you're as strong as I imagined. Yeah, so the final part they didn't, don't really explain, but I'm guessing that's what happened. Like, you know, it was pretty, I think, obvious. So Tatsuya broke his Scion armor and after that uses his own attack to blow him away, I think. I don't know. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Either way, um,. Right, so seeing all of this, Chippo has just ran off and just, you know, frustrated. And this is where Kasumi comes in and, like, puts the bandage in his hand. And Chippo's like, how are they so strong? And this is where Kasumi says that, you know, like, they've worked hard. And uh, Chippo's like, I've also worked hard. And then and he says, she's like, yeah, and they probably have worked hard even more than we can imagine. And then she talks about talent, how talent is always important as well, but at the same time, what blew him away, what made him so, like, flabbergasted 
is not only talent it is hard work it was hard work and the amount of effort that they put in their talent was the thing that actually made Shippo like you know like realize how weak he is and he she also says like Anna, you you have to go a lot from here onwards as well i also have to go a long way so yeah indian kasmi also does say that um if you want to become strong then that is your own problem you know like your strength is your own strength and yeah and i think she says something like wait a minute where's that part yeah well not that i have much interest in what you call strength like she says that she's like yeah i'm not really that much fussy about that this whole aspect but if you want to be strong then you have you know like that is your thing that is your uh problem and your strength will become your strength and i have my own path to follow and yeah they say goodbye to each other like i said i feel like after this shippo will be a lot more humbler hopefully because now that he has understood where he stands and how much he has to improve and then the final scene where we get to see aunt maya talking about tatsuya and miyuki and how she like implies that tatsuya is way like you know can easily like you know overpower her and which obviously makes him a monster a beast completely different beast but you know that is exactly why to keep him with them he like he, like they need miyuki to become the head because if he does, if she becomes the head she'll get way more a lot more responsibility and since this is miyuki she cannot she will not run away from her responsibilities and she will obviously do her job as the head and if she does her job as a head for the yosubas tasa will always be with her and you know never go against the yosubas and for that to make yuki the head she probably has some kind of a plan so yeah that is where it ended so there you go that was a great episode uh, episode number four that was yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that is it Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Mahaka Koko no Retto Se. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.